Hey guys, we are going to start off with tack and this is going to create that adhesion that you need to the nail and this will keep those bad boys on. I love tack. It's kind of like your first layer and it's clear. You can let it air dry or you cure it. I personally cure mine and I'm gonna go ahead and pop that into the lamp. Take Ideal Pink in the builder gel and i am just applying this all over the nail and the reason i'm doing that is to kind of even out my nail for me i tend to put a lot of different color gels on so sometimes it'll be clear sometimes it'll be pink and this kind of just gives me an overall like base to work with so two different things here we have marshmallow which is a kind of see-through white and then we have french tip and french tip is the main one we're using but i'm gonna show you where marshmallow comes in so this is french tip it is super thick and this viscosity is rock hard meaning it's not going to self level so the reason i use this is because it literally is so beautiful under all of that um pink and it just works so well and now i'm going to fade it out i don't use marshmallow here because i want you to see the difference in the applications here so i'm just fading this down and then i'm going to come in and apply that pink one step i don't know if i showed it in there um, but this is pink one step kind of run it down and then we reach the divide and then I fade it out and then I kind of take off some of that extra pink and fade it down. But the interesting thing about when you do pink and whites for me is that I don't take it all the way down for structure. So I'm coming in now with clear to build my structure. So I hope that makes sense because when you have that glob of pink and then you come down to the white, the white is obviously super thin and then we have to build it up. Now here's my favorite way to do it. So I do that French tip on the tip because I want it to be white. That is why I chose French tip because it is like a stark white and I like my pink and whites to be kind of dramatic here. Not like me, but like my nails, <laughs> I'm just kidding. So I'm just fading that out just a little bit so there's no real harsh lines. And then I'm coming in with marshmallow on top of it. That's right, on top of it. See how much more runny marshmallow is? It is just, I just love it so much, but I really want that stark white. So now we fading it down. Literally, this is like my holy grail ombre. And it's just, it, I just love it. So we created no harsh lines and then we're gonna come on to the pinky and repeat the process. So I will go ahead and let you watch that. And I've been chilling, watching the ocean with you. Baby, up with a slow motion crew. And we up in the growlings when people change, but not us. And we just chilling, kicking it, kissed by the sun. Could be soaked to the skin in the moss soon. I know she got the good vibes when seasons change, but when.
here's that dip I was kind of telling you guys about. Um, so that's why I'm applying that clear. I thought I showed it on the thumb, but I don't think I did. But this is that dip and you kind of create it. And so when you go to file, you're not actually taking a bunch of that uh, color off. So now we're coming in with the marble. Don't know if I would do this again. And be honest, I don't know if it's worth it. So I took French tip, put it on, grabbed that uh not foil what is it called saran wrap poking holes moving it around i mean it gives a really cool effect and i really wanted to try it see it's kind of like peel porn there so it's fine and then do it again the problem i think with this is that i wanted the marble to kind of go throughout the nail so when you get it back towards the cuticle i didn't get any on my cuticle even though it looks like it's all over my cuticle, it's actually above it. Um, yeah, it's just like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, I'm indifferent because it's just a mess and you have to do so much filing and then you kind of have to gob that in. So you see me like gobbing a ton of product because you don't want holes in it. And then you do that and then you're not really close to the cuticle so you have to kind of go back in once you file it so i don't know i'm indifferent i mean it came out really cool i love this set but like i said i'm indifferent so i will go ahead and let you watch this and finish up thank you guys so much for watching go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one Bye bye